okay so today we are going to discuss our you know uh, bitcoin and this is a second chapter second topic today and we will cover you know uh, whatever we cover last uh, lecture you just confirm me everything was clear so now you know we will learn how bitcoin is work you know see if you see overview diagram we see that the bitcoin system consists of user with wallet containing keys transaction that are propagated across the network and miners you know last time we already had discussion discuss about the miner uh, they you know who produce through competitive competition the consensus consensus algorithm actually in within the blockchain which is the authoritative ledger of all the transaction okay so they are, they communicate each other you know so for example if someone wanted to make some transaction within the blockchain network then immediate after that trans transaction the miners guess get involved you know they start uh, 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 start involving in computational thing you know so all the transactional they 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 have to start mining on it and they start creating their they will make sure that the blockchain should be start you know the block should be start creating as i said in our last lectures the blocks is creating a, 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 on average every 10 minutes right so so miners gets involved as soon as you anyone make any transaction on bitcoin network so they will start my start mining on it okay now uh, for example is each example in uh, an actual transaction made on the bitcoin network you know simulating the interaction between the user for example we have user joe and we are we we have user alice and we are going to introduce bob to in today's section inshallah so what is the bob uh, characteristic we will learn what who is bob and how we communicate with bob you know we will learn some practical example you know you know by sending some fund from one wallet to another wallet so we will learn how we you know for example you already have a have a fund you remember in last uh, uh, lecture we learned how alice get uh, you know get bitcoin from joe she did not get she all she she get bitcoin from joe uh, from his wallet but how she get she paid some dollar us dollar to him okay then he transferred to uh, you know some bitcoin to her wallet now she wanted to make some real transaction you know she wanted to buy something okay so let's learn how how this transaction is communicated okay by the way before we go ahead to the to the uh, to the real transaction we we learn about something about blockchain explorer you know what is blockchain explorer actually this blockchain explorer uh is a web based application that operates as a bitcoin search engine for example if anyone make any kind of transaction for example uh, arion is going to transfer some bitcoin to noman i can easily monitor and explore my bitcoin transaction with help of some explorer there are you know it allow you to search for address you know for example bitcoin don't know noman bitcoin don't know alvi rama bitcoin don't know abdul rahman bitcoin knows about address each person has some unique address okay so if it allow you to search for address transaction and blocks and see the trans relationship and flows between them you know so this blockchain this uh, this will let you know what is the relationship between the transaction how he made transaction and why was this product uh, transaction was made you know we are having some you know popular uh, blockchain explorer which includes bitcoin block explorer if you will search on google you will know what is the bitcoin blockchain block uh, block explorer there is another kind of explorer block cipher explorer blockchain dot info and bitpay inside there are there are many explorer available within uh, on the internet but but these four are popular explorer okay for example let us uh, let us have example on uh, of uh, of our 
uh, our uh, regular transaction for example if you uh, transfer some of your money from your bank to my bank okay what do you think you have any kind of explorer available the answer is no we don't have because there is no any any transparency in another way there is no any you know you are 100 person relying relying on third person you know your bank and the third party who will be you know in uh, involved in transferring the fund but in bitcoin and this uh, uh, what you call that uh, uh, all uh, all this digital currencies there is trust involved you know so as soon as you start making transaction you can easily explore where it's gone how it's impacted how who, who, how many miners get involved so you will know each and everything through this blockchain explorer okay now let's start uh, uh, with with the with the use case okay last time we have learned you know uh, how uh, alice uh, have taken the bitcoin from his uh, her friend now she wanted to buy a cup of coffee okay so for example you wanted to go and want to buy cappuccino latte or something like that so alice wanted to buy you know a cup of coffee so what she did you know there is one cafe uh, we name as bobs cafe he recent they recently started accepting bitcoin payment by adding a bitcoin option to its point of sale system by the way this is the real case this is the actual case you know uh, we are studying one case we have you know a, this transaction was made in california okay so the prices at bob cafes are listed in the local currency okay so they said okay this coffee is this much dollar this much dollar this much dollar so they have listed the price in us dollar okay but at the register if you are register customer you have the option to pay in either dollar or in bitcoin so you have both both option available with them okay in this in, in their cafe so alice places her order for a cup of coffee and bob enter it into the register okay as he does for all transaction like you know for example similarly uh, if someone paying dollar someone paying in another currency in similar way he registered alice as a normal customer and he put her in a normal transaction way the point of sale system automatically converts the total price from us dollar to bitcoin okay so how he how point of sale uh, system is converting on the real exchange rate so definitely he link this uh, the point of sale system is linking with one of our previous discuss uh, uh, sites so he link they link their system with them and uh, this their point of system is converting their you know uh, uh, with dollar amount with a bitcoin okay now when uh, when uh, you know they, they they see the rate they will see both the both the currency and the both the uh, both the rates are available they can see us dollar and they can see bitcoin okay like that you know it said 1.5 us dollar is one cup of coffee which is equivalent to 0.015 bitcoin okay so this is the this is the uh, this is one scenario okay now let's move forward bob says that's 1 dollar 50 or 50 millibytes by the way this is a millibyte we used to say a uh, cents in us dollar but in bitcoin world we can say millibytes we will learn all the you know uh, the, the decimals how many you know decimals we are having in bitcoin we will learn in in later slide but uh, the conversion rate is the 1 dollar 50 or 15 millibytes means she has to pay 15 millibytes bitcoins okay bob points of sale system will also automatically create a special qr code can you see the qr code on on below screen this is the qr code which their system has created okay <clears throat> alice uses her 
for example uh, she already have this wallet option available mycelium she already have it okay in mycelium she already have uh, uh, some bitcoin available with her okay what she did she put uh, this uh, her smartphone on this barcode okay so the address is already already you know the uh, you know recognized and uh, the smartphone and the wallet is retrieving all the transaction detail from this barcode and now her smartphone shows payment of 0 0.150 millibytes bitcoin to bobs cafe and she selects send to authorize the payment okay she select the option okay send to the payment now with a few seconds about the same amount of time as credit card authorization like you know we are using credit card debit card something like that this similar way she in within a few seconds Bob see the transaction on the register completing the transaction okay so he, he received the message now in simple term you know if you if you're talking about uh, in the simple term a transaction tell the network that the owner of some bitcoin value has authorized the transfer of that value to another owner Another point, the new owner can now expand the Bitcoin. For example, I transfer my Bitcoin to brother Alvi. Okay. Now he is the owner of the uh, Bitcoin. Okay. Now he, uh, he can, he have, he, he authorized to, you know, expand that fund. Now I don't have authorized authorization available with me. So he trans once uh, she transferred to Bob cafe. So he, he is authorized to spend that transaction in another way. Now he is ownership of that Bitcoin. Transaction are lying like lines in double entry bookkeeping. Like we are having debit and credit. Suila, Suila will knows better than this thing. Uh, there is double uh, entry transaction. When we make any double, there must be some credit. So there is double entry bookkeeping of ledger available. So this tra uh, first transfer from which to who? Okay. Each transaction contain one or more inputs okay this is very important point which are like debit against a bitcoin account why, why i'm saying more or one input for example let's take one example uh forget about bitcoin you have 100 dollar and you go to bob cafe and you wanted to buy coffee at the rate of 1.5 dollar so what do you give him you give him $100, right? So what is your input? $100. Okay. What is output? There is input from your, your side, $100. What is output? There are two outputs. One is 1.50, right? Which will be taken by Box Cafe. And another output will be returning amount, which will be 98.5. You agree with me? So there is one output and multiple output, one input, multiple, say two output. Okay. In another scenario, for example, you make a transaction of $110 and you have $200 with you. So how many input you have done physically? Two input, right? $100 and $100. There is no $200, right? So you will give $200 there. So it, another way, you have two input. So now how many output will come? There is again two output come. One output is Bob's transaction. Another output is your return. Your return returning fund might be $90. So this is the input and output scenario. Okay. Hope you guys understand this thing. Okay. So on the other side of the transaction, there are one or more outputs which are like credits added to a Bitcoin account. So this concept is clear. Okay, very good. So now I, I okay, I, I move to the next slide now. In simple term, transaction tell the network that the owner of some Bitcoin value has authorized the transfer. Okay, now I can, connection is like this. Okay. This is the Bitcoin transaction. See how many inputs? There are one, two, three, four inputs. Okay, in 
this is this is something you know uh, this is a sample transaction other than the bob bob cafes okay there are four inputs three outputs okay but if you can see there is total input is 0.55 bitcoin but if you can total it from here 30 40 50 55 this is 55 all together 55 okay but total output is 50 can anyone raise hand and let me know what is the where this five bitcoin milli bitcoins gone so Ila, i want i'm expecting this answer from you i'm i'm going to mute you unmute you please answer me Do you hear me? Yes. Uh, I can now, hear yes. You. Yes, Sweila. Mm -hmm. Okay, anyone else? Uh, brother uh, uh, Alvi or Arion, can you please answer? What's the picture of Chamatha? Put the picture, bro. Brother. Yes. Can you ask me again? Yes. Yes. Ask me again. Yes, yes. Then tell me. Okay, there are you know there are in top fifty five Bitcoin. Okay, fifty five point fifty five millibyte millibyte Bitcoin. But output is fifty. Where is point five gone? This is my question. I don't understand you, brother. No. Brother, anyone you can can you understand? You can understand what is my question. It's the, it is the cost of the transaction. Yes. See, for let's take simple example. You have fifty-five dollar input, but output is fifty dollar. Where is five dollar? Yeah, it's it's the cost of transaction. So yes. it's this is it, the cost of my thing. Exactly. See, whenever you make any transaction in Bitcoin network. This transaction have some cost, have some transaction fees. This is very minor transaction fee, but you have to pay. The one yeah, so who make the brother. transaction, <laughs> he should pay that transaction fees. Okay. Uh, so, I'm sorry, brother. I have a question. Yes, tell me. Who earns this fee? Yes, very Miners. good question. Very good question. Wow. Miners. Very good answer, brother. Iron. This one is, Miners. you know, miner who is okay. involved in mining process. Yeah, it was a, qu a question that I would uh, make today that miners, what's the profit of the miners in this whole yes. thing? And this now the, the result is here. Okay. This is the profit. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Okay, brother Alvi, clear? Very good. Okay. So this transaction is clear for you? Yeah, yeah. yes, yes, very okay. clear. Okay, transaction chain. Allies payment to Bob. Okay, hold on. Uh, okay, allies payment to Bob. Bob's cafe uses a previous transaction output as its input. I don't understand brother, this. Yes, brother, can you explain this thing? You cannot understand. You don't understand. See, uh, Alice, Alice, Alice has have a credit, credit yes, amount. No. Alice have Alice payment to Box Coffee uses a previous transaction output as its input. When uh, her friend transferred the fund to her, mm -hmm. that transfer of fund for for her friend as input for him and output for her now okay. this is this is output for her which she is going to use as input to pop cafe there is chain of transaction brother mm -hmm. no you don't understand uh once again Ali, as is payments okay i am explaining you in another way i pay you 100 dollars I yeah. pay $100 to Alvirama. Okay. 
hundred dollar from my side input, Alvi Rama's output. Okay. Now Alvi Rama wanted to send this hundred dollar to Aryan. Mm -hmm. Now Alvi Rama's output will use as input to transfer this fund to you. So there is chain of transaction mm -hmm. with this, with this, which is combination of input and output. But in it's the same of, amount. The chain of amount, exactly. Yes. But in, in this case, who is the uh, out, uh, the previous output of Alice? Uh, if, if his friend. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, okay. his friend. She, because she, An remember? Another, uh, another third party. Okay, because this was that I didn't understand. The third party. Yes, that's exactly. Ah, okay, okay. Okay. Now. Next thing, Alice received Bitcoin from her friend Joe in sure. return of cash. You understand? Yeah, yeah. This is the, this is the, the pain point. transaction. Yes. Okay, now, okay. next thing is that transaction created a Bitcoin value locked by Alice key. Okay. And her new transaction to Box Cafe referenced the previous transaction as input and creates new output to pay for the cup of coffee and receive a change. change. So she will, for example, she pay 15 Bitcoin. After mm -hmm. deduction, she will receive some cash. We learn this thing in our next slide. Okay. But mm -hmm. the input and output debit and credit do not necessarily add up to the same amount. Instead, output add up to slightly less than input and the difference is represents and the implied fee. as transaction fees you get okay. my point which yeah. is a small payment collected by a miner who yeah, includes yeah. the transaction in the ledger okay so that's that's how you know there is there is this is this is what we learn in previous right there is always some differences in input and output this this difference will goes as a transaction fee. Okay. Mm -hmm. The transaction from a chain where the input from the latest transaction corresponds to output from previous transaction. This is this is what we have chain of transaction. You, you see the input Joe has received. You know this one Joe mm -hmm. has received. This is. Maybe Joe maybe received from someone else. Joe transferred okay. 100 Bitcoin to Alice. Actually, how much he transferred? He transferred 105 Bitcoin, but she mm -hmm. did yes. 100. You get it? Yes. Point, yes, yes. The 5 1 is a transaction, transaction fee. Okay. Now, okay. this her output is become her input. Now this input she has to use at Bob Cafe's. Bob okay. Cafe, yeah. So Bob, Bob Cafe received 0 0.0150 Bitcoin. He returned 0 0.0845 to Ali and 0 0.005 as a transaction fee. Now this Bob Cafe's output is become input for him. Now he can use as output to other customer or other person. Yeah, sure. So this is this is the complete chain of transaction. Uh, one question, please. The cost of miner, who pays for that? Sorry, cost of miners? Who, who pays for that? The who receiver? Make a, who make the transaction? Uh, for example, uh, uh, who the, transaction? the transaction? The person mm -hmm. who input the transaction, input. So the the one uh, the one who sends the bitcoins exactly. So he pays the cost. Yes. It is again mutual understanding. For example, uh, 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 if you if you notice the first transaction, he mm -hmm. can he can say okay I will I'm going to send you uh, one hundred one thousand five bitcoin, and this uh, you and you have to pay me amount equivalent to one thousand five bitcoin. Mm -hmm, you get my yes. point. The transaction yes. fees goes to you. This is mutual understanding. 
between okay. the two oh, okay. parties. Okay, it's, it's, it's not uh, a standard rule. Okay. Yes, but he has to send the person who will send the money, he will send the Bitcoin. He will send Bitcoin with the transaction. This is obvious. Okay. And, and another, another question, please, regarding yes. the cost of transaction. Yes. This cost of transaction for the miner. Yes, for the, for is, the miner. It, for the miner. It is expressed, it is in a percentage, it is on the amount of the transaction. How, uh, how do you... Yes, they, uh, there, is some, there is some standard available for the deduction uh -huh. of transaction. This is standard transaction. The rate is okay. fixed. Rate is fixed. Ah, okay, so the the cost the cost of the miner is is a fix uh, is is set it for all transactions in the world. Yes. Okay. Because he will receive bitcoins. Okay. He will so receive the same bitcoin. everywhere. The yes. same cost everywhere. Yes, he will receive two things. The miner will receive two things. First one is transaction fees. Mm -hmm. Second one is. Uh, the new currencies, for example, right now is 6.25 Bitcoin. As soon as any block will create it, mm -hmm. with the new creation of block, there will be 6.25 Bitcoin also created. So he will receive two things. Bitcoins, newly created Bitcoins, plus the transaction fees. You get my point, brother? Uh, so the the new bitcoins they are generated from the system. Yes. Are owned by miners? Yeah, not not owned by miners. No. The the bitcoin is owned by bitcoin system, but yeah. the, the person who who mine successfully mine the block who will get the new bitcoin? Simple as that. He will get the new bitcoin. Yes. The miner. The miner. Who will mine the block? Okay, so he, he owns the yes, he owns the, this this bitcoin, the yes. new bitcoin. Exactly, new bitcoin and this transaction fees, both the things. Uh, yes, and transaction. So the yes. new new bitcoins are owned by miners. I think. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. So now we will discuss about the change. For example, if you purchase a $5 item in a store, but use a $20 bill to pay for the item, you expect mm -hmm. to receive $15, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Now, mm -hmm. the same concept apply with the Bitcoin transaction. Mm -hmm. So if you will pay one Bitcoin, you spend 0.15. So in return, you will get 0.85. Agree? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. So this is the same concept we have we are adopting in Bitcoin world. If you purchase an item that costs five Bitcoin but only had a 20 Bitcoin input to use, you would send one output of five Bitcoin to the store owner and one output of 15 Bitcoin back to yourself as change. You understand uh, this point? Yes, we under, I understand this, but I have also one question. I'm sorry, brother. Yes, no problem. Uh, uh, why we use a 20 uh, Bitcoin input? Can we use only just simply five? five. Just five. five. No. Ah. No. no. Is Bitcoin See, is a there is a there is a concept in in Bitcoin world. For example, uh, okay. if you receive 0.15 Bitcoin. 0.15 Bitcoin is one transaction, is one input, one input. For example, if you wanted to, if you have 0.15 separate transaction, 0.2 separate transaction, 0.35 separate transaction. So means if you wanted to spend all together, you have to enter three different inputs. Means you have one currency node in another way. 0.15 will be one currency node. 0.25 is one another currency node. 0.15 is one transaction, 0.25 another transaction means the as, as soon as you receive some in transaction input, the same way you have to spend. Ah, but, but you why can, is that? You, why, you this cannot, is... Yes, for example, you have 20 Bitcoin, for example, and you need to pay 15. 
So you have to yes. spend 20 Bitcoin and you will receive 15, something like that. But if the, the receiver does not have five Bitcoins to return to you, how, how can we manage that? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Come again, come again. If, if the receiver of the Bitcoins uh -huh. does not have five Bitcoins to, to send back to me, how no, no. it is managed? The, this will be managed by Bitcoin network. No? Bitcoin network will determine the value and the network will return you the remaining amount. The network will be responsible to return you this amount. There is no physical transaction, brother. This is all digital transaction. And we are making transaction in blockchain network. Okay, okay. So no matter he have it or not, once uh -huh. you will receive, you you will receive hundred dollars. This is not Pertune shop, brother. Mm. This is a Bitcoin network. Bitcoin, so network. Bitcoin network will be responsible to uh, uh, send you back the remaining. Uh, exchange mm -hmm. okay brother okay. so okay okay the inputs and outputs for example I, I as i said debit and credit do not necessarily to add up to the same amount instead output add up slightly less than input and the difference you know represent an implied transaction yes. as a as, as 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 you as your fees something like that okay brother mm -hmm. Okay, okay. It's the same uh, as account. Yes. 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 Same, okay. same. Debit and credit. Same. Same. same uh -huh. Yes. 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 Credit. I understand. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now let's learn some common transaction in in Bitcoin networks. You know, there are some the transaction which we learn just now. Okay, the common mm -hmm. form of transaction is a simple payment from one address to another. I'm using word address. You know, because there is no Alice, no Noman, no RB. There is a transaction address, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Which often includes some change written to the original owner, okay? Now here, input from Alice, signed by Alice, there is two output. There is a standard transaction, no matter uh, what, you know? For example, you have to make one input, so you have to have two output. This is mandatory. This is common term. Ah. Mm -hmm. Okay. For example, if you have one input and definitely you need some until unless you have exact amount to pay, you know, so you will have to pay 100, for example, but still you need to make some uh, this transaction fee. So there will always be two output. One output is to paying to the vendor and second output mm -hmm. for the transaction fee. Okay, okay. Okay. So the second output is the fee. Okay. Yes. Aggregating transaction. Another common form of transaction is one that aggregates several inputs into a single output. This mm -hmm. represents to the real world equivalent of exchanging a pile of coins and currency notes for a single large single ledger. You, you get my point. For example, you have, you know, bunch of transaction available and you wanted mm -hmm. to make payment for, for one vendor. So mm -hmm. you, you can aggregate all the transaction and okay. put together and send as one output. Okay. You know, transaction like these are sometimes generated by valid application to clean up lot of smaller amounts of amounts that were received as change of for, for, for payment. For example, you receive change of payment, you know, from 0 0.10, 0 0.3. So there are a lot of transactions you have, you know, in your wallet available. So wallet will combine all these transactions and make as one output. You get okay. it, brother? So this is yeah. what we had discussed last time. Okay. Mm -hmm. There is one output, one input and multiple output. This is distributing transaction. Okay. For example, mm -hmm. another transaction form uh, that is seen often on the Bitcoin ledger is a transaction that distributes one input to multiple output, representing multiple recipients. You know, this type of transaction is sometimes used by commercial entities to distribute funds 
such as when processing payrolls payment to multiple employees or something like that so for example uh, uh, if uh, uh, your company wanted to distribute salaries in term of bitcoin so there will be one input will be involved and multiple outputs so salary will distribute to arion lv you know soila so there will be multiple outputs so there there are three kind of common transaction is using in bitcoin world okay mm -hmm. i hope uh, up till this point we understand uh, very well how bitcoins is working how you make transaction uh, how you know you can uh, easily uh, convert the currency how you can get the fund how you create wallet so up till this point we have learned a lot related to bitcoin and our uh, this one this is the the transaction which we can easily see in blockchain world you see the way which i explained you it was uh, a graphical representation but this is the actual transaction so you can make the transaction from one end to another there will be total input total output there will be fee that is the estimated btc you know transacted so everything all the detail is coming so just wanted to say you that there is no any person involvement there is an address transaction made between one address to another address okay so that's all from from today's lecture uh if you have any question anything you wanted to clarify please let me know